the demand for metals is directly correlated to that of GDP, is it not? Yes and no. <laughs> um, it's directly correlated to consumption. And when the economy is growing, um, usually your GDP is growing. And when you have a growing economy, your consumption goes up and your, metals go, your metal consumption goes up in line with that. And often prices follow that. They're, they're all intrinsically linked. Um, when we go into a recessionary um, or deflationary environment where GDP may or may not be shrinking or stagnating, um, people are consuming less. The reality is metals are the stuff of life. And, and, and when we consume less stuff because we're a little bit poor or the economy's turned a bit, um, metals prices go down. So we've got a, this, we talk, you've just talked about consumption, so we've got this hugely growing global population at the moment. Um, there must be a direct relationship between population growth and, and gold demand then. Yes. <laughs> um, so there's, there's an interesting chart, um, which I, I can find for you later, um, about the amount of gold in the world, which we can largely track, mm. um, and, and the, per person. Um, based on population growth. And it's um, gone, it's actually relatively stable. There's a, ironically, there's this weird correlation between the amount of gold and the number of people in the world. Um, unfortunately, that's been falling in the last few years because the amount of, po the population's been growing faster than our ability to find and extract gold. There simply isn't that much gold left in the ground or Maybe that's not, that's to suggest we're at peak gold. The, the gold that's left in the ground is harder to get to and lower grade than it's ever been in the past.